guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this story. And it's coming from Pitiful Ass, Pennsylvania. So what's going down in Pennsylvania, you ask? What's going down is we have a young African-American girl. She was 18 years old and her name is Bianca Roberson. And basically she went to the mall with her grandmother. She was buying some clothes. She had just graduated high school and she's preparing to go to college in Florida in just a few short weeks. So she was going shopping and so she got ready to merge in the same lane as a red pickup. I guess both of them started merging around the same time. And I don't know if they almost hit each other or what necessarily transpired. But basically the driver in the red pickup truck was a white man. He ends up pulling out his gun. He points it out the window and ends up shooting this young girl in the head. And she ends up crashing. This entire situation is just so heartbreaking. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Mr. County, there's a desperate search to find a driver who's considered armed and dangerous. He's wanted for shooting and killing a teenager during a road rage dispute. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live now outside of West Goshen Police with more. Good morning, Catherine. Good morning, Tam. That's right. The search is on for a man who is driving a faded red pickup truck who shot and killed an 18 year old girl in an apparent road rage case. West Goshen Police and the Chester County District Attorney's Office continue to investigate. Let's go to a photo of 18 year old Bianca Roberson. She was supposed to be heading to Jacksonville University in Florida in two weeks for orientation, but instead her family is mourning her loss. Family members say she just left the mall late Wednesday afternoon after shopping for college clothes with her mother and grandmother. She was traveling southbound on Route 100 when the district attorney's office says Bianca and a man driving a faded red pickup were trying to merge into the same lane. It's where the highway goes from two lanes to one. They were jockeying for position when the man pulled out a gun and shot the teenager in the head. He fled. Her car then veered off the road and crashed around 5.30 p.m. Family members are devastated and hoping other drivers come forward with tips. She was a good girl, on a road student, looking forward to going to college. So young and to go through something like that by herself, um, she had to have been pretty scared. Turn yourself in now. Every second you were out there, you were only making this worse for yourself and worse for this young lady's family. A highway camera shows some sort of altercation between Roberson and a man in the red pickup before the crash. Another photo shows the red pickup moments after the crash, fleeing the scene, now on 202, about to get on to Paoli Pike. If you have any information, police want to hear from you. We're live in Westchester, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip, and um, the district attorney and the police are asking whoever was behind the wheel of that red truck to please turn themselves in. ASAP. You can see some of the grainy footage of the altercation a little bit, but you know, this young girl had her whole life ahead of her. I mean, this whole situation is just really, really heartbreaking. And I've noticed a lot of excuses in certain comment sections. I've seen people saying, well, I wonder if she was flipping him off or, you know, what did she do to him? You know, it's funny that when it's a black child or a young black female gets killed by a white man, all of a sudden, it's this whole narrative of what did she do to make him mad? I don't care if she caught him a cracker and flipped him off. You don't shoot somebody in the head over a damn traffic dispute. That's insane. Imagine if this was a black man who shot and killed a young white girl. Nobody would be saying, what did that white girl do to that big black man to piss him off? No, he'd be all types of thugs and niggers and, and everything else. Like, come on, people, let's stop making excuses for foolishness. This young girl was 18 years old. She had her entire life ahead of her. And her life was snuffed out over what? A, a, a change of lane dispute? This is just insane to me, and this is just crazy. People need to stop with the foolishness. Stop making excuses for nonsense. Wrong is wrong regardless of race, regardless of gender, regardless of religion. Wrong is wrong, and nobody deserves to lose their life in that manner. I hope that man turns himself in, but in the event that he doesn't, I hope his ass gets caught because this is just ridiculous. And I'm wondering, can the camera footage not zoom in on the license plate? I wonder if it's too far away. You know, there has to be a way for people to catch this man because if he's willing to kill somebody over a change of lane dispute... This man obviously has nothing to live for, and if he's willing to do this in broad daylight, 
Who's to say that he may not decide to just go on a killing spree and just start shooting all types of, you know, black people or anybody for that matter because he knows folks are after him and the police are trying to find his whereabouts. So this whole situation to me is just a shame. I feel really bad for this young girl. Like I said, she had her entire life ahead of her and what happens? Her life gets snuffed out over what? Some nonsense, over, over a change of lane dispute. Just ridiculous. Y'all stop making excuses for fuckery, okay? One thing about me and one thing about my channel, y'all know damn well I don't care what your race is. I don't care if you're white, if you're black, Asian, Latino, whatever. Wrong is wrong and right is right. Let's stop with the excuses. Let's stop trying to victim shame and say, well, what did she do to him? Did she flick him off? Did she make him mad? Did she cuss him out? Stop with the foolishness. Nobody deserves to lose their life in this manner. Point blank, period. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this pitiful story, honey, coming from pitiful Pennsylvania. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.